This teenager is providing light to a village that can go days without any power. Chandani, whose name means moonlight, is using sunlight to power lanterns, which she rents to her neighbors. She says her small enterprise has helped her family financially. Earlier, we couldn't even afford chairs, but I bought them now from the money I've earned from these lanterns. I've also bought a TV and many other things. There is an energy revolution happening right across India. Rooftop solar panels like these are part of the government's strategy to bring cheap and clean energy to the masses. The Gash has been selling solar gadgets for the past five years. He says he's seen attitudes change. Earlier, just a handful of people would come to me for solar panels. Then people started noticing how they could change their lives. Now in some villages, half of the households use solar. With abundant sunlight, India is a natural candidate for solar energy. An estimated 300 million people are not connected to the electricity grid. Here at the village level, people are taking charge of their energy needs. But solar is going commercial too. Sun Alpha is a startup that sees big potential in solar leasing. It installs panels on commercial buildings and then supplies clean energy to its client under a long-term contract. We supply the, the, the solar power to them uh, at a rate that is cheaper than what they pay to the grid. So for the end consumer, without having to pay anything upfront, they start generating uh, income from the free-lying uh, rooftop space. As night falls, many are lining up outside Jandani's door to pick up their lanterns. Here, just a few hours of light could mean finishing homework or passing an exam or getting granddad to tell you a bedtime story. Banu Patnagar, Unao District in Northern India.